That's a, that should shred them down nicely. Yeah. Turns out this might have even been mild overkill. That's okay. Let's just, uh... Hold off for a little while. Be nice and patient. Uh, let's see. Probably just... Oh, yeah. Start working on that research. Yeah, these are fine. I wonder if I could actually get us back down to zero heat. It'd be tough to do, but I, I bet I could do it. Last time I saw you play, there was an enemy that attached... Stru uh, attached structures that were... Attached next to each other. Is that still a thing? Yeah, it's like a ripsaw looking enemy. I've seen a couple of them. <laughs> you can, in fact, go negative with heat. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'm gonna go for that, frankly. But I love the idea of it. Just being like, you know what? I just don't feel like it today. Okay. Well, we have all of this new land. Unfortunately, this new land didn't really net me a whole lot. But if I take these spots... I, I, can, I can move my defensive line down. It'll cost me next to no heat and get me a lot of extra resource farming. Okay. Wave is coming from the north. What part of the north? Because I apparently ripped up a lot of my defenses. Yeah, that's, um... Why do I have so few defenses here? What happened? Wise. We're getting there. Let's see. I think that's the right spot. Okay. I'm just going to move my entire defensive line from that one section down. And then all of this stuff. I'm just going to assume they've got it. I guess I'll save just in case. Okay. So we're going to want a pulsar in every corner. so addicted to putting the walls down. There we go. Well, I should probably put at least a couple of defenses just here and there. Something took damage somewhere, but did we lose anything? I think the big wave came and gone. Yeah, it did. 
Okay, let's take a look at cooling this even further. Okay, gold yield? Gold yield. Gosh! The exponential level of everything is painful. Okay, there we go. So this gives me a tremendous amount of space, though. With a lot of resources. Okay. Of course, this is going to take up the heat almost... Oops. Walls. What am I doing? Okay. Large attack coming from the west. I haven't updated my defenses on the west side recently. Ever. Let me take a look at it. Uh, let's see. Put a normal turret at the wall, then place the next one at the edge of the first range. Keep placing ranges in the middle. I mean, it's a fine strategy. I don't know. I think of what I've got is good enough. I gotta burn a lot here. Ooh. This is really, really gonna tick things up. Probably worth it though. Especially because, like, once we have these done, my income is going to be much higher. Okay, so heat-wise, not great. You know how I said I pretty much had not put any defenses over here? Okay, looks like we're fine. Yeah, they chunked a little bit of wall. Might be worth getting another railgun at some point, but still. Okay. So I think at this point, we switch over to largely research, waiting, and cooling things down. Okay. Gold yield is going to take a long time. Okay, so now we've got money of plenty. Let me rip this up. Yeah, we have we have a number of gold locations that I can slowly get access to. Uh just to increase the amount of funding that I have. What if there's a... We've obviously got faster research. Essence storage. Guns. I'd love to see some really interesting miscellaneous research. Like almost a separate tab that gives you 
like a choice between A or B, just to give uh, a feeling of like, you know, this round I want to go for this versus this. I don't necessarily know what there would be though, so maybe I, I shouldn't throw that idea around recklessly. Okay, it looks like they're attacking the secure section. If they were attacking over here, I'd have to worry about it a little bit. Like, for example, if I could choose either giving my rail guns longer range or, like, higher firepower, uh, or, like, a double shot with less accuracy or something like that, and that's just a limited research that's... You know, once you pick it, you can't go back. It's more of kind of roguelike logic with that sort of thing, but I feel... I feel like a number of games could... Could use to learn from, like, how roguelikes do stuff. Just to keep repetitive playthroughs fresh and interesting time and, time and again. Because I largely am just going to result in the same general builds here. Which is, keep temp down, turtle hard. Then eventually get bored, realize that I'm grossly overpowered, and then I start screwing around with other things. Gives me the most. Okay. That vaguely does. Is that all of them? Yeah. We're good. So what else do we have? What else can I mess with? Because Iridium is 80,000 heat, which is just above and beyond anything that I can get right now. Ripper Disintegrator Artillery. Minigun Flamethrower Chiller. See, power-wise and heat-wise, we're fine. That eh, generates 250. Here's the thing, if I need heat, I just put down big generator. Which I will, at some point. Okay, what are we... we're still researching that. Uh, I might need more labs. Otherwise, this is going to take, like, three years. Eventually, we can get faster research, so it's not so bad, but it's like, ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Even just getting down into the essence side of things is going to get, uh, dicey and take a very long time. Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm mostly just bottlenecked on money. Here, let's let's take a look. How are these guys doing? Are they keeping up? Yeah, it looks like they're keeping up. Okay, we could use some more mining drones here. And luckily, the further we get in, the less exp er oh, Let's see. Less impact financially? That is? How about these guys? No, they're fine. What about this group? This group could probably use two more. Okay, we're... We're capped out on essence. Oh. Okay, so what's the most amount of essence I will ever need? 250,000! <laughs> uh, at that point, we'll have some upgrades that should speed it up tremendously. 
and make a lab district. I mean, well on my way already. It's just... Ugh, I'm going to need... I'm going to need so many labs to get anything done. 350,000 far lab. Yeah. Figured as much. Yeah, I'm just going to have my home base be the lab district. Oh, shoot. Well, here's the thing. I'm just going to build a fusion reactor. Here. Hey, and thank you, Bash Boy, for the 38 month resub. My power grows, I ascend further to power. Thank you. Okay, minigun. High accuracy turret that unleashes a storm of high damaging bullets. I forgot that I didn't already have that. Is pretty pretty decent range, not excessive, but pretty decent. Boy, is it a pricey sucker, though. I'll probably just start putting it in the way of certain invasion forces in the future. <sighs> Problem is, I'm hungry. I got, I made burritos yesterday, and they're really good. Normally, Shell's the cook, but she's visiting family. And so that's kind of put me in this position of like, well, I guess I'm entirely in, in charge of my own, my own diet. But also clearing everything out of the fridge. Let's see. How are we looking? Overwhelmingly comfortable. I guess mainly we're just waiting to build the fusion reactor, which one is going to jettison my heat straight up into the stratosphere. Uh, is, is what it is. What are those house things attacking? Uh, house things? Let's see. As a viewer only watching someone who plays these games a lot, I feel like this game is lacking making the player pivot for danger or risk. Maybe Wander's just mitigating it ahead of time. So effectively, each one of these these reduces the difficulty by a tick. Um, and so truly, if you wanted to see me stressing out, I'd have to just get rid of all of the coolers, at which point it would just throw me into probably emergency mode permanently. Uh, which I think would be more interesting, but is also very much not my style, which is kind of the it hard trade-off. Oh, we finished with gold yield. Do we start going for gold drilling? I'm gonna go resource speed first. Because that's a fair bit quicker. Yeah, you don't play with coolers, it's not all that different. It's just a bit faster. Gotcha. I was thinking enemy types or something like in TDs. But maybe that's not the right solution. The thing is oh gosh. Uh the thing is if this game pulled like a a wave 63 from from balloons I don't necessarily know if that would make it better oh well this is problematic okay we got the chiller okay, here's the problem I need a minigun here. Bad. Oh, we got it.
Oof. No, we might actually be able to survive this one. Holy shit. This area was not ready for it. Uh, let's see. Strong defense lowers heat output by 10. That's kind of nice. Obviously has a power cost, but still kind of nice. Okay. So we got we got the area freezers of plenty. I might stop putting them down. Like I'll probably do the the chiller turrets just because, but beyond that, I don't know. So what's the purple for? Higher end research that I haven't reached yet. Combat drones do. Well, that's very, very far away. Guess we should probably also get these. Anything else? Not overwhelmingly. Okay. Yeah, I'm mostly just trying to decide what I want to focus on. We're still kind of hung up on money. Hung up on money and distracted by hunger. The Wanderbot way of life. Okay, resource drone, resource drone, resource drone. There we go. Give me that sweet Mooney. Gonna take a little while. He blasted through that money so fast that he had... Uh, a lot more than you needed. No. This game, I am always going to be poor. Even when I'm just absolutely flush with cash, I'm going to be poor. Okay. Let me do the math on this. I would need... 250 of these. What's 250 times 120 power? Thirty thousand. So, their chillers aren't. Well, I mean, they're worth it. They don't quite offset the the heat of a fusion generator. Engineering none applied. It sounds like there's some more features that I haven't even unlocked yet. Okay. Uh, let's see. Did we did we get everything? Yeah. Get uh frozen bullets. Just kind of speed through some of the, the tech lists. Because, yeah, I could expand out further. And every single time I do it, it does increase the amount of money I make. Oh. Oh, shit. Um. Stop that for a second. We need to earmark those funds for some defenses, otherwise this group is going to hurt. Let's see if we can get that minigun in time. I'll be okay. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. That'd probably be better to head for faster research. Yeah, I should. It's just gonna it's just gonna take a while. 
Uh, I mean, I could make some more labs. I probably should. The other thing is straight up, we might want to just face the next boss. And then probably call it quits soon enough. Because I want to I wanna see the Tesla, I want to see the artillery, and I want to see the disintegrator. Beyond that, I don't know. We're running out of interesting things to build. The main thing is it's just going to take a while. But yeah, I want to see every weapon in action before we stop. Oof, that's going to take a metric time, which means more research labs. Okay, I'm just gonna get a number of those down. How's my research doing? It's faster. I haven't noticed any enemy attacks from the east yet, which is actually a huge relief. Because, yeah, if they started coming from the east, I'd be, uh... Well, I'd probably lose this entire side really fast, and then probably just lose... Source drones down. Enhancer. Probably just right there. Okay. Money's doing kind of fine. It's, oh, it's going to take a while, though. That's the one thing. I don't do the waiting game very well. Oh! I get very... I'm not going to say itchy, but I just get... I get impatient. I want to... I want to get rolling. One thing I like about Factorio is that even if you're waiting for, like, a bunch of resources to stack up, there's, like, 50,000 chores that you haven't bothered to do. You know, you might have to... Uh, let's see. You know, while you're waiting for the, I don't know, the red circuits to stock back up again or some research to finish. Oh, yeah, it's it's time to go modernize your, your belt setup for, you know, making inserters or some, something to that extent or... Oh boy, it really is a good time to fix that bottleneck in oil. And I think that's something a lot of other games uh, that involve an amount, amount of waiting don't have. And to some degree, like, it is kind of a benefit that this is so much simpler. Because then you don't have that issue. of just, like, always having something that you need to focus on right this very minute. But it really does fix the kind of slow moments where you're just kind of waiting. Yeah, either that or a fast-forward button. The only problem I would say with the fast-forward button is uh, an attack at a really vulnerable spot. You know, if, if I got an attack that spawned here and then chunked through this and just crushed their, its way in, I could probably mobilize new defenses right here along this wall and be fine. Um, but like something hitting at four times speed or even five times speed, I would lose this wall, this wall, and then probably my base. And it would be effort to recover from that. Which is probably why I'd just reload in that circumstance. Hey, okay. Faster research. Is gonna take a while. I almost feel like the faster research research should be like really quick. Nah, not really. Yeah, playing Bobs and Angels is just getting a degree. It's okay for a game to be simpler. Oh no, I fully agree. I just, I think I wish I had something that I could focus on in the meantime. I mean, I guess I do. I really could just keep expanding and just not even think about it.
I'm just playing like a coward, and that's that's the issue. Well, fine. that uh let's see oh they just took that right out well we got the flamethrower Okay, I'm going to just assign to Hotbar, have this be my number one. There we go. Doesn't have the best turning radius, frankly. But is what it is. Pretty nicely aggressive, though. Okay. Spread that out. Get a number of these. Yeah, my chores should be it focusing on expanding instead of waiting with a small base. What I might have to do is leave a lot of my old guns standing and just kind of accept that that's going to have kind of negative effects. Maybe. I guess I could just expand my guns out a bit. Oops. Didn't like that. And yeah, I could also have, like, manual outposts. Uh-oh. Can I? No, it has to be connected. It doesn't have to remain connected, but it has to be connected when I put it down. Okay. Yeah, let's just uh let's just claim an egregious amount of land. At some point you're going to need the green resource, not for a long time. I don't get access to that until like 80,000 heat. Uh which considering my playstyle is not going to be for some time. Okay, I said I wasn't necessarily going to do this, but I think what I'm going to do is rip up a lot of my old defenses and just leave the uh, the coolers around as just kind of like a, a bonus defensive line. Because they don't, they're not as much of an albatross heat-wise as like a lot of the other defenses are, and they're very good. Okay. And then we're just going to go continue going bananas with these walls. So the coolers are just your backup oh shit defenses then? Yeah. I shouldn't have necessarily sold that one until these have been replaced. Okay. I'm just gonna aggressively scoop. 
and then clear some of this out because I need the I need need the gold. Let's see. Yeah, like right here. Not sure what I'd want to do with this. I want to keep the wall, so what I'll probably do is just zigzag the wall. There we go. And yeah, we're just gonna go for the gold. I could cool things down. I might go for that. I gotta decide. Man, this oh did we finish nope haven't finished the hyper research yet there we go i'm feeling better about this i was kind of bored because i was turtling hard but what i need to be is aggressive always this is my land now and then it's going to be my money now it's done all right let's go gold drilling real quick How are we doing on heat? Beautifully. I'm gonna make it bad for a hot second and then replace it with better. There we go. Okay. So nice part is, because of everything, I can pretty much just go bananas with drone ports and not even think about costs. I'm just going to have them all start as builder drones. Okay. Maybe not that one. There we go. I'm just being kind of sloppy for reasons. Because it doesn't re it doesn't really matter how I lay this out, as long as it's largely contiguous. Okay. Logistics. Enhancer. Hotbar. Six. Six. There we go. 